welcome back. Today's featured guitar tone is the legendary Robin Trower. And this song tone is from the song called Bridge of Sighs. I believe that is one of his most popular hits. And this is the tone that I was able to emulate from various live performances of Robin Trower. So go ahead and follow the video, the on-screen selections, and I'll get you there. I'm Tony. I'm playing with the Boss Eban JS10, which has the Boss GT100 effects processor already built into it. We have a Line 6 Helix, the Line 6 Pod, Fractal Audio, 1, 2, 3, whatever you have. Rack mounts, pedals, stop boxes, computer-based software, I'll get you there in the vicinity. Pretty much anyone can get this tone. All you need pretty much is a Univibe effect and you can pretty much just set it to standard, te uh, standard settings and you'll get there. Uh, mine is not the definitive tone, although it's very good. It's very close to the original and the live performances. <laughs> it just is. You know you're here for my tones. Oh, and I play with my custom uh, KXM June Juan guitar modeled after Jordan Lynch and the band KXM. Look at this. Look at this. Doesn't this look good? This is made by my best friend, my best friend, June. <laughs> my best well, friend, June. If you want June this guitar one. model, this guitar build, uh, the email is right here. It's, there it is. Go ahead and contact June one. Tell him Tony Fuentes sent you. He'll get you a really good deal. He's done, uh, he's in popular demand for a lot of George Lynch uh, style guitars. Now I'm apparently he's doing other guitars card guitars but he did this one and it's just amazing look at this look look at this and this is all June 1 baby this is modeled after the George Lynch KXN guitar so again this is the guitar I'm playing with these are um, I forgot what pickup this is I forgot I need to look this up but this is a um, Super Dist DiMarzio Super Distortion 2 pickups remember how I had DiMarzio Super Distortion pickups this one has a DiMarzio Super Distortion 2. So if you want this guitar body build, uh, contact Ju Juan, the email is below. Tell him Tony sent you, and uh, he'll hook you up, he'll give you some special deals, uh, he'll work with you, and he'll make you whatever you want. And uh, he's very reputable, and he's a good guy. Go ahead and give him your business, send him an email, uh, inquiries, and so forth. But Tony, is this a Ju Juan advertisement, or is this a... <laughs> I, just wanted, I, haven't, I haven't played this guitar in a while, so I just wanted to break it out. But let's go ahead and uh, do this tone. <laughs> Position, so we're going to show you the tone in the neck position. Now obviously look, you can hear all that noise. But when I go to the neck bridge position, the noise is gone, look. Again lastly, uh, you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below and uh, it's good to be back. But this is a Robin Trower tone. I wanted to just surprise you with it because I love it. It sounds great in either way. You want to play it in the bridge pickup with whatever you have. Uh, apparently he uses a Fender Stratocaster. I don't have a Stratocaster, but I got the next best thing. I'm using a Telecaster body, but with the neck pickup. 
Right now, here it is with the bridge pickup. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? Now, I just switched it to the neck position, and here's how it should sound. But it works both ways. heard this song from years, years ago, from the 70s and on. I know when it came out, but I might have any questions. 70s. Go ahead and follow me. Here's an open A. I'm sorry, open E. And here's a low E if you want to follow me. And real quick, I'm going to give you snapshots. I'm going to talk to you with the settings as they are. Uh, they're already locked in place. Uh, again, uh, once you lock these, this tone in, go by all means tweak it. You may make it sound better with your system, with your rig. You may want to add this, take some of this off, tweak it, have fun with it. This tone for me is already set in stone. I love it. It's a keeper for me as is. So if you like it the way it is, great, thank you. And if you don't, it's totally fine. Tweak it, make it better. And if you want to come out and come for me, oh Tony, that's not a Robin Trower tone, bitch. Okay, it's a Robin Trower inspired tone. There. Oh look, I just dropped my pick. That's okay, I got another pick right here. Real quick, Tony, what kind of picks do you use? Uh, since 1979, 1980, I've always used Fender medium picks. All these people with various picks. I don't do various picks. Look at my hands. I don't do various... <laughs> I don't do various picks and all these little shapes. No, because I grab, I play with the round point or the rounded part of the pick. I don't play with the tip. The, or the point, <coughs> I used to. I used to play like everybody, but then I saw Jordan Lynch, and I played with the rounded part, so I never, I don't need the pointy part of any pick. So I've always used Fender Mediums, and that's all I need. And that's how you can sound as good as me, right? <laughs> Tone, once you're locking in, is incredible on the neck position. Alright, here we go. I'm going to walk you through it and I'm going to give you snapshots, alright? And again, lastly, any questions, comments, and feedback, leave them below. And all new subscribers, thank you so much. And click like and hit that notification bell and hit subscribe. And uh, go ahead, hit subscribe. <laughs> Bell. You got it? Okay, thank you. Alright, let's begin. <laughs> Alright, the amp I'm choosing is a the model that I'm using here from my boss effects. It's called Clean Twin, but it's modeled after a Fender Twin Reverb. So look for your amp modeling. I'm using a Fender Twin Reverb amp modeling. In my case, it's called Clean Twin. My gain is at 75, and my effect level for this is at 70. I just take that noise off, okay? So, okay, again, real quick, the amp I'm using is modeled after a Fender Twin Reverb. Mine is called Clean Twin. My gain is at 75, and my effect level is at 70. Here's a snapshot. Isn't that good how I just throw my edits in? Alright, what's next? 
next in the chain, uh, my bass, I have it at 35, my middle at 42, my treble at 76, and my presence at zero. Again, you can tweak this to your liking, to your setup, after you lock it in. All right? So just do me that favor. All right. Here's a snapshot. See, this is pretty smooth. Huh? When I say that, I can just plug in the, the photo. See? All right. This is a very simple tone. Uh, what makes this tone, obviously, is the unit vibe. So once we get into there, you'll have it. Most people have that effect, and you can play with it. Um, next, on your screen, if you don't have it, it won't affect your tone. I just happen to have it on my settings. So my bright is off. My T comp is at zero, and that is on. And here's a screenshot. Um, I do not have any compressor or limiter on this tone, so no compressor or limiter, so that's nothing. Um, now what makes this tone scream is the, uh, some people may want to use a fuzz pedal, uh, other people may want to use a distortion or overdrive. I chose to use an overdrive. In this case, I'm using a Boss OD1 pedal. The Boss OD1 Overdrive pedal. These are my effects. Here's a screenshot. And now here are the settings for my Boss OD1 Overdrive pedal. My drive is at 80.80. My bottom is at zero. My tone is at zero, and my effect level is at 50. Here's that screenshot. Here's how it sounds. <laughs> Here's a screenshot. Here's my threshold. Uh, I have no EQ. So this is a very simple tone. No EQ. You don't have to worry about it. I'm getting pretty much my gain, my grit from the gain on the amp and my overdrive pedal OD1 Boss Overdrive. So whenever you have similar to a Boss OD1 Overdrive pedal, use that one. You want to use the Tube Screamer? By all means, use the Tube Screamer. But I'm using the Overdrive pedal, all right? What's next? Obviously the tone that sets this apart from everything. Here's a screenshot. I'm using, here's a, here is a screenshot of all my modulations and I'm using the Univibe. In this case it's called Uni-V for Univibe. Alright, and here we go. That's simple. My rate is at 52 and my depth is at 64. That's it. This is where you can play with, lock this in first bitch. Lock this in first. And then play with your rate or your depth. And that's all it is pretty much. So it's nothing, this is not the holy grail of, oh, I got it. This is an inspired tone because it's a univibe. Anyone with univibe can pretty much just dial it in. This is how I came up with it though. So my rate is at 52 and my depth is at 64. It should sound like this. <laughs> to make it sound massive. Remember, you're playing live, remember? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Here's the screenshot. To make this tone massive, that's the neck position. Remember, here's the bridge. Time is at 3.3, my high cut is at 8.00, and my effect level, look at my hand, and my effect level is at 72. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Trower Bridge of Side. It's uh, similar but quite different. I think you'll like it. And that'll be in the next video. It's a Paul Gilbert to, uh, Paul Gilbert tone that's coming up next. All right, I'm Tony, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thanks everybody, and I'll see you folks real soon. Bye.